Behind the Scenes. Welcome back to our half hour behind the scenes with photographer Harry Langdon. Actress Tori Spelling called on Langdon to shoot a series of publicity photos. The pictures will be sent to magazines and fans around the world, thus necessitating a variety of styles and images. Another day in the life of Tori Spelling. <laughs> Come on out, Troy. Let's come on out here. It looks a little nicer. Let's head over yonder. That's pretty. I don't see your legs back there, so don't worry about them. That's it, Troy. What if your left hand, what if you shot it under your between your elbow and your bust there? Perfect, Troy. Okay, here we go, gang. It's a marathon shooting session. Uh, I put myself in their skin and try to feel how they would feel if they were in this predicament. Some people I can feel just breeze through it and it's just nothing. They, they just relish the narcissistic act that they're in. And then others just feel like they're being forced to do it and I try to help them through it and just, you know, joke with them a lot. Just josh them through it. That's it, Tori. That's charming. There was a purpose for that picture. Because starting from now on, everything's going to be kind of edgy mm -hmm. and chancy. And so those are the fun ones. Troy, try turning with your back to the chair more. You know what? These chairs work nice. That's it. Stay there. What I do is I sit down, usually quite late at night, and I seem to get a flood of ideas. And I, I do st stick figure drawings. Of anything that comes into my mind, I do a brainstorming session all by myself. Now, by that process, you uh, derive certain things, deep, deep ideas that maybe you may not have tried before. And yeah, I want to use the, use the swimming pool. Yeah, we want to try this. And with Tori, we decided to use the bistro gardens, you know? And so I thought that worked out very well. He's really good. He doesn't give you a lot of direction. Just, he's very encouraging. It looks beautiful. Look this way. Looking good. <laughs> Move your hand a little. There she is. That's pretty. We know each other pretty well. He knows what he's looking for and what I'm looking for. So it worked out well. We're looking for beautiful shots, <laughs> of course. That's charming. Great, Tori. Tori makes every shot count, and there's no fooling around, because she wants to go just as much as we do, you know? And so every shot I'm shooting on Tori, I really, in my memory bank, I can't remember too many bad ones that we're doing today. Are you happy with your hair? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You like it? Uh-huh. Yeah. That's good. I do wear it like this on the show. OK. Just stay there. The things to choose, huh? We'll change them in a minute. It might be easier to, to do it and then change it. Because yeah. we're going to do it one in here and then one right outside the door. So we'll change it when we go right outside. What if you were just lean farther? Good. Get closer to the wall again. OK, Tori. Cool. When I started out in photography, there was no such thing as Polaroids. It was just coming on the scene. And it was something that people used when they photographed the kids in the backyard. But now there's such a thing as professional Polaroids that are up you can put them on the back of a video camera. You can put them on anything now and, and check and see what the setting looks like verbatim almost, an exact duplicate almost of what the, what the final film is going to see. Say there, Tori. Good. Let me come in closer, Tori. Wow. Oh, my God, the zoom is. I can get a little eyelashes in. OK, take a break. One hour to go. When Behind the Scenes returns, Tori turns up the heat. As we end our half hour behind the scenes with celebrity photographer Harry Langdon, Tori Spelling ends her shoot with some racier outfits. 
<laughs> okay, dear Tori. This is our big finale here, Tori. I was quite taken back at how good Tori did there. When I first worked with her, she was very good as well. She's got it in her, she's inherited a great deal of talent, obviously. And Tori's the kind of a woman that you don't need to direct her very much, because she, she does little nuances in front of the camera that are very, very attractive. And if you tamper with those too much, you just kind of spoil it, you spoil Tori. She's got her own style, you know? She's got, Tori's got her own neat style, and maybe it came from her mom or dad or something, but it's very attractive, and I didn't want to tamper with it. Good, stay there. I need a camera. Not once have I had to tell Tori what to do. Two more. Good. Two more shots. Try this side again, Tori. There. Yeah, and slip your hand up nonchalantly like you just did. When you fuss with your hair, you just you did one of these kind of blasé things. Yes. Arsenio may be waiting, but good. Your chin down lower, Tor Tori. Lower, lower, lower. Stop. Just glance. Good. Reload time, Tori. Just one moment, please. Keep an eye on those critters. OK. We're a little overexposed here. I'll cut it down a little bit. Yes, back in the twilight zone, Tori. Yes. Go, drift off into, into uh, Tori's land. Sorry, Tori. Perfect. Good. It gives me a chance to have a different pose. career for a day. I get to be a model yeah, for a day. It's fun. <laughs> there, she glances here. Go back to this side again. There, stop. I enjoy all the challenges. I get, for some reason, it's sort of kind of kinky, you know? I like difficult sessions where there's more demands put on me, because I figure it's getting into an area where less and less other, the competition can handle it. The whole creative act, perhaps, it took us, took us maybe four or five hours. And so you go to bed that night and feel satisfied that you did this wonderful artistic, creative, complex project. And I enjoyed that. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes.